Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a story. Basically what happened yesterday, one of the worst days of my life. And basically I just got nailed in the head of a puck. Whatever the band is, I got nine stitches. It was a slap shot right to the face. And uh, basically we were shooting pucks outside. And I walked over and I guess my friend didn't know I was there. He took a slap shot to the face. So in this video we're going to do a basically in depth of what happened and how it happened. And I'm not going to mention any names other than these guys. These guys were there when it happened. But I'm not going to mention who did it because I don't want to throw them under the bus. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. So it happened to me basically, so I'm going to tell this, my own situation, like what, what I saw, what I felt. And then I'm going to let these guys talk and tell you guys what, you know, what their situation was like. So I guess I'll start, right? Yeah. So basically what happened was they were just, this, he was making a video of Risty Twisty. He's on YouTube, you can go check him out. He's making an Instagram video with him. And they just finished the video, and um, so I walked over the net to collect some pucks because I was about to make another YouTube video for you guys. So I was collecting some pucks. I guess um, one, the kid who actually shot it at me didn't realize that I was in front of the net. So he took a slap shot and actually hit me right here. I, I heard him yell Sam Coon slap shot, which is the mid-air slap shot that I do in all my videos. So I heard, him, I heard him yell that, and I looked over. I guess he didn't know I was there, so I looked over, and then it hit me square right here. And basically what happened after that, I heard someone yell like, what did they yell? It hit his eye or something? There's so, blood. There's yeah, blood. they were yelling, it's, there's blood, and it hit his eye. So I, first thing I did was check my eye to make sure it was okay. And then I moved my hand up a little higher and noticed that there's a cut above my eye, like around my eyebrow area. So right then I um, I was like disoriented. And then I actually slipped, what did I, I slipped on the shooting pad and fell on my ass. So <laughs> that hurt. So I just basically, I got hit in the head. I started bleeding and then I slipped and fell on the ground and I got back up. And I started walking over to take a seat, right? This is where I was really disoriented. I didn't really know what was going on. So I started walking over. I was going to take a seat. I, what did I say to you? I was like... I need to say I need to sit. Yeah, I was like, I need to take a seat. I feel really dizzy. And then basically what happened is the scariest part. I just fell over. Like, I, I just lost consciousness completely for like, what did you say? Three, four seconds? Three seconds. Or not two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, I lost consciousness. I, I fell in such an awkward position. I, my head was like in a bush. And I remember I was like, my ears were ringing and I heard them yelling, get up, get up, get up. And I just woke up again, and I sat down on the ledge. And then you guys were, like, assigned different jobs, right? You were supposed to go get paper towels, and you were supposed to get water or something? No, he got... Oh, someone yeah. got paper towels. No, I got him. water and paper towels. And what did you get? You, your he job was... I was holding it on. Yeah, he was basically holding the cut closed with some paper towel. And um, then the, one of my... Fr the, so the person I went over the house was Rissy Twisty, and his neighbor was hanging out with us. So basically what he did, the neighbor ran over and got his dad. His dad brought the car over, and we went straight to the hospital. But it's so scary because the scariest part of it for sure was their reactions to the cut. They w they walked over one by one and looked at it and they're like, oh my gosh. It was like pretty bad. Eh? Would you say how deep yeah. bad though, right? How deep yeah, do you think like, it was? At least that deep. Yeah, like an, like an inch? Yeah. Like, and you can see bone, right? Like just a little bit of it? Yeah, a little so bit. So it was pretty bad. It was like. I think big, it was. I think it was. It was like a big, know. big gash in my eye and there's like blood all over my face. You'll see, obviously in the thumbnail, you'll see how bad it was. There's like blood all over my face and stuff. So, that was the worst part for sure, though. Seeing their reaction to the cut, I was so scared. I was like, am I okay? Am I okay? I asked that at least a hundred times. I wanted to make sure that I was actually okay, but they they were great. They took You're the situation. You pale, too. Yeah, I was really pale. That's what you guys kept saying. Yeah. And he felt like he had to puke. Yeah, I almost puked. I bought the garbage can over. I didn't end up puking. I was so... I thought I had a concussion. I, I said it like four times. I have a concussion, don't I? I have a concussion. But I, I actually didn't. The reason I passed out was because I had so much adrenaline coming into me. I was so nervous. So, I was just basically passing out for a few seconds. But yeah, so basically what happened is he pulled up the car, and they took me to the hospital, I had to get nine stitches. Now now I want to show you guys, these guys, um, their story of basically what happened during the event. You, you want to go first, Pucka? Tell them what, what, what you went, like, tell them your perspective of the story. Okay, so me, Sam, and Risty Twisty's neighbor, we're just chilling watching Caleb and Risty Twisty film their video. Yeah. And when that video was over, Sam got, well, like, before anything happened... Yeah, the he, neighbor said, tell them what the neighbor said. The neighbor... So we were all joking Chris, around, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were all joking around, and the neighbor said, it's all jokes until someone gets hurt. Literally 30 seconds before I got hit in the head. And I, we all were laughing, like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all so fun games until someone gets hurt. And so then, then they finish making their video. So then Sam went up to grab a few pucks to film his YouTube video with Risty Twisty. And then Risty Twisty didn't realize that Sam was in front of them, and he yeah. took a slap shot. 
Hit him right there. And yeah, then... that's basically where it went all down. And you said, were, were you sitting down in the garage just basically watching? Yep. And then, yeah. like we said, Rissy Twisty's neighbor, his dad got the car. We took him to the hospital. I went with him. And then, yeah, yeah. But tell him what you, what you saw. All right. Uh, so me and Rusty Twisty were uh, filming a video, and uh, we just finished. I grabbed my camera. I walked over to like his uh, porch, kind of, and then I heard him scream, "Oh, there's blood!" Like yeah, scream yeah. something like that. And then I turned over. Yeah, you like, do. I didn't even see it. Yeah, you didn't see it happen. Then I turned around and I saw he was like bleeding, holding his hand like that. And then he we fell, then he fell on the shooting pad, Yeah. so he fell, and then he got up, and then, uh, I passed out. We yeah, tried, we he tried walked up, him. he's like, oh, is it bad, and then he's like, he's like, oh, I need to sit down, and then he fell into the garden, he yeah. fell into the bush, passed out. Yeah, so basically right here, they ha when I went to the emergency room, I didn't tell you guys about this part, um, the doctor came in, he wasn't really that nice, actually, he was kind of, wasn't really soothing, he kind of just, yeah, you're getting nine stitches, I was like, alright. It kind of hurt. They put two needles in. in there. Yeah, there was. Yeah, tell them about that. I there was in there. You yeah, know. yeah. So we walked in. So what made it so scary is I walked in there and there's a prison. There's like a prisoner With shackled. Three cops yeah, three him. cops surrounding him, holding his arm. He was shackled up around his ankles and he had handcuffs on. So that was really scary. I was about to get nine stitches and the guy was all shackled he was up. Right beside you. Too. Yeah, he was like in the room right beside me. So that was pretty creepy. I had no clue why he was there. Right. You're leaving. And then when you left, he so before I got stitched, I told him to leave. I didn't want him really with me. I wanted my mom to be there and other people like that. So I told him to leave. He left. And when you left, there's a little kid beside me that was getting stitches. So this is my first time getting stitches. So I have no clue what to expect, no clue what it's going to be like. So the first experience I had was a little kid sitting in the room beside me. He got stitches and he was like screaming as loud as he could. He's like, why do you have to push so hard? And he was like, he was like, it was so scary because I had no clue what to expect except for the little kid was like screaming as loud as he could right before I got mine. So... It ended up being really quick though. It took like about I say five or ten minutes, and it wasn't that bad. Just the needles hurt the freezing part of it. If you guys have ever got stitches, I'm sure you know what it's like. But um, it's just like a few needles and stuff. I'm getting these out in a week, and I'm gonna have a scar around my eyebrow. And a lot of people are saying fake. I posted a photo on Instagram, and a lot of people are saying it's fake. I honestly have no clue how I can fake that. But uh, there, I guess there's haters everywhere. So I got popped to the face. It hurts, but um. It's not fake, that's for sure. So that's pretty much all I had to say. I told you guys a story of yesterday. I got a big shiner around my eye now, and I got nine stitches with the, I got this um, band-aid over it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like. <laughs> I went through a lot of pain. I hope we can break, off. let's say, 500 likes. If we can do that, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to me. We're so close to 5K subscribers. All you have to do, it takes like three seconds. You go down below, click subscribe, and leave a like while you're there. Uh, that would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed to me already, do that. Also, subscribe to these guys. You can find his link to his YouTube right above him. And, and um, you can subscribe to Shot Hockey right over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, smash that like button, subscribe to these guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.